Okay, so I'm getting ready to do the air sign reading. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And this could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you detach from. This could be someone who wants to come toward you, different people that they are attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or new future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. So let's see what do we have for air sign. So we have the king of swords. This is Gemini. Now you could be a Gemini or this person could be a Gemini. Take away it where it resonates. Now, somebody is trying to like, this is someone who is trying to manifest something. It's like they've gained clarity about something. And they want to take action with the musician card being here. This could be someone that's wanting to be truthful and honest about something. Yeah, they went through an awakening. We have the tower. Something has changed. Something that they have released. And now they they have like, this is someone that has a lot of foresight. Now, this could be someone who wants to give you something. They want to be generous um, or they want to get something balanced out. This could be money. Like this person wants to give you some money. You have the Ace of Swords. Yeah, this is someone who wants to give you some money or something like that. Now that they're seeing the truth. Now, this could be someone that owes you a debt. Like somebody could. This could be someone that owes you. And they could have went through something unexpected. And now they're wanting to get the situation balanced out with you. This could be a debt that they're wanting to pay. We have the Three of Cups. This could be a friend. It's like somebody wanted to do... It's, okay. Whoever this person is, they could have been attached to toxic people. They operated out of a toxic type of mindset. But they've went through some type of tower that has helped them to realize something or it has woke them up. This could be something about a friend or people that they're attached to with the Three of Cups, the Devil, and the Ten of Pentacles. Now, somebody could have, you know, made a person believe that. If they took something from you, they would be able to build something solid, something stable, or they would gain a lot of abundance. And they made a bad decision and they've went through some type of unexpected karma. And now they're wanting to get something balanced out with you. But it's like somebody had negative influences over them or negative influence. And they're seeing the truth about this. This is someone who is wanting to fix something that they did in the past. They feel like they shouldn't have listened to another person, a group of people, because it created some type of negative karma in their life. Yeah, this is someone who wants to say something to you, um, like, really bad. Yeah, but they feel like you're going to reject them. It's like they're constantly replaying what took, what took place in the past over and over in their head. And they're in fear of like being rejected. Yeah, 
saying? It's like somebody is realizing that somebody like betrayed them, deceived them. This could be out of jealousy, secret competition. Somebody's in regret because they allowed a rival to like slow them down. This could have been definitely like a friend of theirs that turned foe. Yeah, this person is someone that's a hidden enemy. This is someone who who definitely got behind the scenes to try to create some type of um trickery. And it was out of jealousy. It was out of um feeling like they could bully a person, one up a person, and that person wouldn't do anything about it. Yeah, this, this person was taking actions to keep another person, like, confused. Or they just felt like they could keep that person confused with whatever they were doing to create some type of trickery, deception. We have secret crush, love interest. So this is someone who secretly admires you. That person wants to make peace with you. Whatever took place in the past, they're unhappy and they want to get the situation balanced out. If this is a situation that does not involve money. Now, I'm also seeing something else. Whoever this person is, it's like they didn't know whoever that they were attached to. Whoever this friend is, or this could have been an actual partner. Or a family member, take it where it resonates. But whoever the person is that they were attached to, this is someone who they could have been providing for, given to. And that person was using whatever they were getting from this King of Swords to create a lot of conflict, chaos, and deception. That could have backfired on this King of Swords. And they were confused as to why were they going through um, this tower. Why is a lot of things that they don't expect to happen happening in their life? It's because of whoever this energy is, whoever this um, this devil energy is. It's definitely a karmic soulmate. You were protected from this. So this person could have tried to do something behind the scenes to cause some type of deception uh, to you. And they felt like that person was not emotionally mature enough to say something, to stop them, or to um, put their foot down. It's like someone felt like they had control over another person. They could just do whatever. And if anything backfires, it that person will have to deal with it and they will be confused and not know what's going on around them. This could have went on for a long time. You have false accusations and then Aquarius. You could be an Aquarius. One of these people could be an Aquarius. Some type of false accusations were made. This could be after you expose someone. Hold on one second. Yeah, it's like somebody made false accusations after they were exposed. Now... Whoever this energy is, they could have been secretly in competition with you, with someone wants to be you. And they were trying to make it where that person would view you as someone that, that can't be trusted. So they could have paid people to spread lies, but they paid others to spread lies. Yes. And this is because this person is someone who um, got upset because you exposed something that they didn't expect for you to find out. Some type of obsession that they have. And they could have been obsessed with using some type of spell work over this King of Swords. 
But whoever the this karmic soulmate is, this is someone who was already doing something in your energy. It's like they knew that they were interested in you. You were this person's secret crush. So they were trying to use magic or spells to try to pull your energy in toward them to keep that person attached to them. And this backfired because whatever they were given to that person, if they were giving this person money, they were using it on magic and spells. And whatever backfired onto them, because this is someone that could not get in your energy, you were protected from this. It backfired onto this King of Wands. Yeah. We have motivation. I've just seen self-worth positivity yeah it's like they view you as someone that is very motivating inspirational then we have self-worth on the bottom of the deck but that person wanted them to feel like you have bad intentions for them if they can pull your energy towards them that person would feel like they were someone that was inspirational. They were someone that knew their worth. Um, whatever you were saying, this is something that they are not capable of or they are not doing to keep them stuck. This is like an energy vampire. Somebody wanted to harvest and feast on your energy. And they thought they could do this with magic and spells. And this backfired. We have Aries. One of these people could be an Aries. Somebody is, um, yeah, they cannot believe that their plans backfired. Now, somebody definitely came from a toxic family dynamic. This could be this King of Swords. This could be why they feel like they attracted this type of person. And now it's like if they're seeing the truth about why everything took place the way that it took place it's like they're trying to close out a toxic cycle or they're seeing that they need to close out a toxic cycle but they also want to get something balanced out with you something that took place in the past whoa We have intuition. And then you have gold digger. So yeah, somebody is definitely, it's like they had a gut feeling. This is someone who's seen all of the red flags in the past, but they didn't pay attention to it. They feel like it came back to bite them. This is someone who uses manipulation, trickery, magic, spells, to manifest whatever it is that they want out of life because they want it to like come easy. This is someone who does not want to um, have to work hard for anything or just work for anything. Yeah, somebody only, they want money. They want, it says, this card says they want your money being used. Yeah, they had a gut feeling that that person was using them. They just didn't use their intuition. This definitely helped this person to see that they need to start using their intuition. Know how to set boundaries with a person. Um, this was like a sexual-based relationship. Now, whoever this person is, this could be someone that's still like trying to figure themselves out. They don't know if they want to be um, attracted to the same sex or the oppo opposite sex. So they attracted someone that could be accustomed to like having threesomes, hooking up with other people, having threesomes, um, or they could have put them in a third party connection, but they were expecting for this person to open up to them. It's like somebody thought that they were manifesting someone that um, they would be able to build with. Yeah, but in reality, they were building a tower with this person and they didn't know. Now, somebody could be a water sign, one of these people. And 
And it's like, if they have people that they, you know, kind of paid or they paid to spread some type of lies on you, all of those people teamed up for the same reason. These are people that are haters. Um, and they hate the fact that this person is someone who wants a connection with you. These could be people that are also off into the same thing, placing spells over people, using magic over people to manipulate them, trick them, get what they want out of them. And that person would just set, settle for sex. It's like somebody didn't have anything to offer another person but sex, but they wanted them to feel like, hey, I'm in love with you. I have emotions for you. And they would never be able to tell um, or realize that this person was only attached to them for what they could get out of that person. They love what that person provides for them, what that person can do for them, how they can look in front of other people, how they can brag to other people about what they're doing to this person to keep them giving to them. Yeah, this is somebody that's very immature. So this could be someone that's younger than that person, younger than you, or there's their mindset, the level of um, maturity is very low. Yeah, and this person has been hiding their emotions. They're not accustomed to being emotionally available. They don't know how to. But they're wanting to um, definitely, man it's like they're trying to manifest you. Now, this could be someone who wanted you to come towards them or reach out to them, and that created a tower so they could see the truth, so they could realize the things that they need to set boundaries with. We have reconciliation, reconnecting. They definitely want to talk to you. Yeah, they're seeing that that person was someone who felt like they would be able to create an ending for you to prevent that person from being interested in you. Or, you know, secretly admiring you. They also wanted you to be seen as a liar. After you expose this trickery, this manipulation. Yeah, the situation is being balanced out. Now, whoever this person is, they were definitely stalking you. They could have had other people watching you, whoever this energy is that wanted you to be seen as a lie, the person that made these false accusations, and they paid other people to lie to this person. This could be lied to the authorities, take it where it resonate. Yeah, they found out the truth. They didn't love you. They only wanted to use you. This is why they were so out to get back at you because they felt like whatever you said these spells, this magic, whatever they were doing, it would no longer work. It would have that person more focused, more aware. It would bring in more mental clarity. They could also want you to know that they found out the truth. They definitely found out this person was someone who wanted to create an ending after you exposed the truth. Yeah, they've been manifesting you. Because they feel like they need to tell you the truth. They're also hoping to see you somewhere. Now, this is someone who wants to hold you. They want to be close to you. They're in love with you. Yeah, and they've been holding on to some type of memories of you and them. If they got nervous um, and kind of ran from the connection, ghosted you in the past, they feel like because something was too intense, this could be their emotions, and they're just not accustomed to expressing their emotions or being in like, an emotional state where they have like heart to heart conversations with another person. So they see that they sabotaged a connection in the past and they want to reconcile. 
This is someone who felt like at that time um, you deserved better than them. And this is because they needed to work on their self. They needed to wake up to something. This is someone who needed to stand up and um, take control of their energy. Because they didn't know this person had been playing in their energy for a long time. They want to reach out to you, but they don't know how to. So this could definitely take some type of time. But they're realizing all of the mistakes that they made. This is someone who refuses to let you go. So they're definitely keeping an eye on you from afar. They want to treat you the way that you deserve. This is someone who is going to reach out when they're ready, when they feel comfortable or confident enough to be able to want to talk to you, open up, express the truth, or just have a conversation with you. It's like something had to unfold first. Things definitely had to unfold in a natural way. Okay, so this card says, try not to dwell on the past or spend too much time worrying about the future. All it does is steal your joy and sense of inner peace. Concentrate on the here and now and enjoy every moment for what it is. You are creating new memories. So this is someone who definitely wants to get out of the energy of being in regret, thinking too much about what they did in the past. Because it's keeping them in the four of cups. It's keeping them unhappy, staying stuck in the past. They're coming out of this regret energy. They're feeling um, they're feeling like in order to be able to manifest what they want now, they have to come to reality. This is someone who wants to create new memories with you. Because they don't want to be stuck on whatever memories they felt like or bad decisions or mistakes they made in the past when it came to this connection that they want to have with you. Yeah, so somebody is definitely getting out of an energy of um, like being in despair. They're wanting to talk. And if they've kept their self in an energy of like going back and forth because they don't know what to say, they don't know how to um, express their self emotionally. This is someone that's going to take like, um, like baby steps. Yeah, this is someone who's going to take baby steps and this is someone who is releasing all fear. Fear of being raw, true, authentic with their self. 